Hi everyone, this is Tom from CoJoint here. In this video tutorial I'm going to talk through mesh creation and uh, modification in Unity. And uh, we're not talking 3D software here or 3D modeling using 3ds Max or uh, Blender or Maya or anything like that. We're talking about using scripts to actually uh, create and modify a mesh. Um, in Unity it perhaps seems a little bit daunting to uh, create meshes because you have to define all the vertices and triangles which I'm going to show you in a moment. But once you've had a go at it a couple of times, I think it becomes a lot easier and uh, hopefully this tutorial will uh, help in making that process a bit easier for you if you're new to mesh creation. Um, so this is the mesh that we're going to be working on in this uh, video or I'm going to be uh, going through. And if I just highlight it, first thing you'll see is that um, meshes are actually entirely made up of triangles. I'm just moving inside the mesh here. Um, the whole the the surface of the mesh is is triangulated, and um, that's that's a general principle of all 3D modeling that you should never use anything other than triangles. Um, I think this is something to do with uh, deformation and uh, perhaps um, overlapping of nodes or uh, vertices in meshes, but I'm not entirely sure. But um, as you can see here, this mesh is entirely made up of triangles, and um, I will show you how I actually achieve that in a moment. Um, also, to prove to you that this mesh is not something that I've just got from Blender, I'm creating it on the fly via script, this um, sphere here will actually change, modify the mesh on a per frame basis. Uh, this mesh actually is um, a projectile preview system that I've created for my uh, tech demo to um, highlight um, my new software or a, a, a possible application of my new software. And um, it basically shows the bounding volume uh, from a uh, trajectory, uh, uh, sorry, a particle released um, at a particular point, i.e. the origin of this transform, um, given a small amount of uncertainty in the uh, initial velocity. Um, so now that you've seen it in action, you've seen it working, um, I'm going to go through exactly how I made this. Now the first thing that you need is an empty game object, which is what we have, which is what you start off with here. Um, then you need to add a couple components to that game object and they are a mesh filter and a mesh renderer. And the mesh filter actually defines the mesh and the mesh renderer tells the shader basically how to uh, draw or paint the, the mesh. And in order to tell it how to do that you need a material. And uh, material has all the information basically about the shader and uh, the texture that you're going to put on top of it. Here I'm using something very simple just to highlight it. But um, once you have those set up, we can actually get into scripting the mesh. And there are two important things with scripting meshes, and that's the vertices and the triangles, and that's what I'll show you right now. So here's the script that we're using to generate our mesh. Um, first thing you should notice is that we have a require component to ensure that there's a mesh filter and a mesh renderer on the game object on which uh, uh, houses this script. Um, if we move down to the, uh, the stating the variables in the uh, class, we see that we've got a private mesh here and also a private mesh renderer, and uh, we use them to uh, to reference the, uh, the mesh renderer component here, which is using a get component, and then also to uh, to reference the mesh on the uh, mesh filter, so that basically everything that we do with uh, mesh and mesh renderer here um, will uh, get uh, will basically carry over to the actual mesh filter mesh and the mesh renderer on the um, on the game object. So um, first of all we clear the mesh and then we set its name which uh, with mesh.clear and mesh.name and um, here in this script all we're doing at this stage is we're just doing some maths to work out uh, the various positions of the vertices that we want. So uh, here each these bands that you can see around here if I zoom in a bit you can see that there's um, there's some little cubes, and these actually show you where all the vertices are. I was just using that to um, to help me uh, plan out the uh, how I'd actually triangulate the mesh, and um, actually have little numbers on them, which shows you the index. And that index is um, is actually going to be useful when we define the mesh dot triangles, and I'll get on onto that in a second. So um, I've just written a little thing here to describe how you actually create a mesh, what you actually need. Besides the mesh filter, the mesh renderer, renderer, uh, and the material, um, 
you need to set mesh dot vertices and mesh dot triangles. So um, mesh dot vertices is an array of vector frees defining the corners of the triangles of your mesh. So you saw where the cubes were in, uh, in the scene view here. They actually define the vertices of our triangles. And mesh dot triangles allows us to define uh, how we're going to join up those, vertice, uh, those vertices to actually triangulate our mesh. And um, mesh dot triangles is an array of integers where each entry references, I've put here, an entry of mesh dot vertices. So what that means is that every entry, uh, if you were to say, if I uh, do mesh dot triangles and uh, then find the, uh, say, the twentieth component or the you know the twentieth ind indices in uh, mesh dot triangles, that would be an integer that would that would con that would be telling you that one corner of a triangle. Um, is the twentieth entry in mesh dot vertices. So, if this is a bit confusing, I think it's best to describe with an example. And um, I've just mocked up something quickly before in Paint before we return to Unity. So, um, um, excuse the fact that I've labelled my axes in a different way to Unity, but this is just a maths degree. Uh, <laughs> it's just stuck in my bones, I guess. And uh, so we've got the x-axis pointing that way, the y-axis pointing that way, and the z up. Um, so if we set mesh dot vertices to be um, basically the origin, uh, one point uh, along the y, a vector pointing along the y-axis, so just a point uh, at zero one zero, a point at zero zero one, and a point at one zero zero, we can actually use that to create a mesh of a triangular pyramid that you see here. And the way we do that is we'd set mesh dot triangles equal to uh, 0, 1, 2, so like we said, the, it, it defines the the uh, vertices of the triangle. So the first entry is the origin, the second entry is uh, 0, 1, uh, 0, which will be that point there, and then the, the third entry, sorry, the second entry is uh, 0, 0, 1, so that's one there. So we see that we actually, each of those entries points towards one of the entries of mesh dot vertices, and defines a triangle, because uh, Unity is smart enough to know that once you have those uh, three points defined, we can just join up the first and the last. So in a similar way, uh, the next entries are 0, 1, 3. So 0, 1, 3 defines another triangle there. And 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 3 defines another triangle there. And uh, 1, 2, 3 finishes off the face, so that we actually get a triangular pyramid. Um, and that's and that's. I hope you can see what I mean by uh, referencing a uh, entry, a vertex in mesh dot vertices, and um, that is effectively how you create a mesh. And um, just to show you how I did that, this line here. I uh, first of all, I I've created a, a list of vector frees, and uh, I when I do all my maths to determine where the vertices lie, I then add that ver uh, the, a new vertices that I've calculated its position to a, to a list. And then down here, you can see that I convert my list to an array, and then I set that equal to mesh dot vertices. And all I've done here is on this line is I instantiate a cube to um, add each at the exact same position as I, uh, as I want a vertex to go. Now here, this is a bit confusing, but um, uh, the way I, I, I basically figured out a pattern in a, in how to define um, the the triangles, but um, I basically wanted so going from say let's see if I can get a good perspective on this. Go yeah, going from that no, uh, that vertex to that vertex and that vertex to that vertex. I think is that right? Or maybe it's that way. I'm sorry, this is a bit confusing. Um, that's a better view, I think. Uh, yeah, going from that vertex to that vertex and that vertex to that vertex, you can see that makes a a uh, quadrilateral. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to split that up into two triangles like that. So there's one triangle there. The next triangle would be there. And that's how I triangulated the whole mesh. And um, I, I was able to generalize it by, you know, just uh, looking at examples and um, just figuring out the pattern. And then I... Um, Made an, an integer, uh, an array of integers here, uh, triangles, and then I, I populate the entries of triangles, and then I just set mesh dot triangles equal to that, uh, that uh, integer array there. So that's all in the start function.
or start method even. Um, in update, all I pretty much do is I clear that list of vertices and then I recalculate them depending on if um, if that sphere which I was using uh, to determine the angle, this one here, if that's changed. And if it has, well, where whatever happens, it redraws them actually. But if it changes, then it's just able to recalculate and um, uh, using pretty much the same code as I uh, used up there. And um, that, that's really all there is to it. And then finally, I um, I uh, reassign the mesh dot vertices to the new um, vertices list. Um, just as a final little thing, just as a little bit of fun, I guess. Um, oh, don't need to do that. Sorry. I'm going to activate that and deactivate this because I want to show you just um, with a different material what you can actually use meshes for. And you can see a little bit of intersections with the cubes, but um, you can actually see that I'm using this to um, create an image on the plane. So where this mesh intersects somewhere around here, you can't see it in the scene, that's a shame, um, where it intersects with the plane, I'm actually using a shader which I got off a uh, YouTube video, or I um, found on a blog actually, um, to actually um, render the intersection between those two planes, which is really useful for my grenade preview system. But that's what I've been using this uh, this mesh for, and um, I think it's quite a cool application. It runs a lot faster than my previous code, and um, that's basically I think covers most the important stuff about mesh creation. If you have any questions or um, would like to pick my brains, then uh, please feel free to ask. But um, thanks very much for uh, watching, and uh, cheers.